Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Journey Girl Gaming. I hope you guys are having an amazing day as usual. So, in today's gameplay video, we're going to be doing some more. Oh, that is not my neighbor. But this is going to be a different video because this time they did a recent update to this game. And now there is nightmare mode available. My son has actually beat this already before I have. So I'm going to see if I can beat nightmare mode today. The challenge is if you get one thing wrong, you're completely dead. You have to start all over again. So if I die, we're going to know that I failed. But anyway, are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started. As you also notice too, the interface looks a little bit different in this game because you see all these weird eyes everywhere and stuff like that. So this is going to be kind of fun. And plus, our friends look a bit different as well. <clears throat> what the heck? Okay, this one looks like a cross between a witch and a mummy. Literally. Like, that looks purely evil. So, first things first, we're going to see if this one's on today's list. And she is. Her name is Dagda Krom Kruwaj, 304. So, let's see her ID. Dagda Krom Kruwaj. Everything looks good here. Let's see this. 304, Dagda Krom Kruwaj. I'm a resident of this astral circle. My apartment is the fourth on the third floor. So let's look on the third floor and let's check her out. So, okay, she's a soul scarecrow. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. So where's a hat? And she is wearing a hat. Mouse stitches. Let's check to make sure the mouse stitches are like in order. Okay. You definitely want to make sure to look at her appearance and stuff though, because you need to make sure that it's right. A big head. Um, I would say her head is like decently big. Wears a mask. Yes. So just looking at her here. Look at the eyes and stuff like that. I really don't see anything. So honestly, that looks good as well. The next thing I'm going to do is call the household to see if she's at home. So 4258. So let's see what happens. That's kind of confirmation to me. Maybe she is legit. The last thing I do want to do is check her ID number to make sure it matches. So let's see. 9658458. All right. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say that she is probably good to go. So let's see if I might have made a mistake. Okay, that was good. That was clear. So that means that she was good. Okay, so now we have this guy. So let's see if he's on today's list. And he is. He is Tutatus Tyrannus in 303. So let's go ahead and take a look. Tutatus Tyrannus. Let me make sure that's spelled the same. Yes. Everything is good here. C-303, Tutatus, Tyrannus, resident of this astral circle. I went out to annihilate, annihilate things. Annihilate. Okay, this sounds like you had a lot of fun, dude. I hope you had a lot of fun. <laughs> but honestly, those things look okay. Um, the next thing we're going to check is his appearance. So he lives on the third floor as well. Okay, Tutatus, Tyrannus. Let me make sure... All right, face tattoos. So let's take a look at his face tattoos. Yeah, he kind of looks serious. Long nose. Does have a long nose. Sharp teeth. I assume he has sharp teeth, but I don't see it in his profile picture. Long hair. 
<clears throat> what she does. Let me just look at the tattoos and stuff one more time to make sure that they look good. Okay, okay, let me look at the eyes. Okay, so that checks out okay as well, in my opinion. The next thing I would do is call the house to see if he's home. So let's go ahead and do that next. So that's confirmation there. The last thing I need to check is his ID to make sure it matches. So let's go ahead and look at that. 78958. Okay. So honestly, I think this guy is probably going to be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and let him on through. And if I make a mistake, we'll find out. So let's pray. Oh my gosh, that was a quick last. <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? Wrong tattoo? That is so weird because I looked at his tattoos and then it looked legit to me. So let's just go ahead and play one more round and see what the heck happens. I might not even be able to do this. My son is really smart and he's already completed nightmare mode one time. And I can't even do it. <laughs> Oh, well. I already see something wrong with this lady. I've seen her before. Like, ma'am, where's your ID? Lilith, little to Lilith. So, let's just go ahead and start at score one. Um, she is not on today's list, so I'm going to ask her why she's not on today's list. I left late and they didn't add me. Okay, I mean, I guess that could be a legitimate reason. So let's go ahead and check her ID. Lilith, Lilith, to Lilith. Lilith, Lilith, to Lilith. Okay. Got the triple D sign. That doesn't look bad. It looks good. Let's go ahead and check where she lives. So Lilith, Lilith, to Lilith. She's a witch. Small pointed nose. Okay, which she does. Say pointed ears. She does. Okay. Wears earrings. And she is. So that's also good. Five tattooed eyes. I've already checked that. And she does have fangs. Honestly, looking at her appearance, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. At least in my eyes. So that also checks out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is call the number, of course. And see if she is at home. And we'll find out. Okay. So she's not home. Okay. That's a confirmation there. One, seven, two, five, three, five, two. Honestly, to me, everything checks out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let her through and cross my fingers. Crossing my fingers. Are you serious? I am not doing good at nightmare mode, guys. I am not doing good at nightmare mode. Oh my god. Like, what did I get wrong this time? Expiration date. I checked the expiration date and it didn't look wrong. So this is just so weird, guys. Like, I am not good at this thing. I will play one more round, but if I die, like... Yeah, this is not going well for me. Okay. So we have you again. We have you again. Where's your entry request, ma'am? Okay. Lilith, little to Lilith. I'm checking the expiration date. It looks okay this time. Lilith to Lilith. Okay, that looks good. She's on the list as well. So let's check this. Pointed nose. Yes, she does. Pointed, yeah. Pointed ears. Yes, she does. Where's the earring? She is. Five tattooed eyes. And has fangs, which she does. So that checks out, at least to me. Um, let's see. The ID number is the same. 
one, two, that's seven, two, five, three, five, two, seven, one, seven, two, five. Okay. So that checks out okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is call the household and see if she's at home. So let's go and do that again. All right, guys, th this nightmare mode is proving to be a nightmare. Like, I would rather play the regular version of this, but this is a nice change because it's such a fun challenge. But I do hope I win the game one of these times. <laughs> one of these times. Please, like, one of these times. So, honestly, everything to me checks out. So... I'm going to let her through and hope for the best again. Guys, like this is hard. I am not good at this. <laughs> I am doing awful. Ron knows I would not have even noticed that. The nose look pointed to me. Anyway, guys, I am so disappointed in myself today, honestly, but I will try this game again more in the coming future, maybe even for a live stream, if you guys can help me spot what I'm doing wrong, because obviously I'm not doing it right. But I hope you enjoyed today's little gameplay video of Nightmare Mode. It's definitely a nightmare, definitely a fun challenge. If you haven't tried That's Not My Neighbor yet, go to the link in the description box, it's only three dollars download it try it out and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and i'll see you in the next gameplay video thanks for watching